Hey guys, welcome back to your YouTube channel. Think beyond the brain. Respect to every thought of your brain. So now, today we are here with one more video in which we are going to discuss the most interesting concept, topic, and the reality. That's going to be 10 life-changing facts to heal the pain of the past. Be free of the past and you can go on and simply enjoy your life always in love, SP. So here we are going to discuss about life-changing facts to heal the pain of the past. What are all that life-changing facts and how you have to get the heal the pain of the past? That's all we are going to discuss here. So request viewers to watch this video till the end and uh, like the video, share this video and subscribe our YouTube channel to get the more such kind of knowledge which are going to be allow you to think beyond the brain. 10 life-changing facts to heal the pain of the past. And and, and we, we have to accept that because everyone has his own past. So it's going to be give the more insight to all of our viewers to 10 life-changing facts to heal the pain of the past. As we probably know, sometimes events from the past have a mind of their own. Memories keep recirculating when all you want is for them to disappear. You are way more emotionally reactive than you know is good for you. And you are limited by distrust, neediness, and an inhabited view of what is possible for you. If you know your past is still nipping at your heels, be with us because you will discover 10 facts that may just be the key to unlock the door to your full, unbridled, joyful, infinitely healthy expression of you and be free of the past and you can go on and simply enjoy your life. We know that we, 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 we can't control our life and in the life there are lots of things is every day happening with us, happen with us and, and it, it's going to be happen in our life. So we can't control for each and everything from our aid and we, we have to accept that. And we are here to support you from the, this 10 life-changing facts which are going to you the more insight how you have to heal the pain of the past and that's uh, that's uh, that's we are sure that's going to be help you to unlock the door to your full unbridled joyful infinitely healthy expressions of you and be free of the past and you can go on and simply enjoy your life what happened to me is without questions possible for you Apply these 10 life-changing facts to the sticky residue from your past. See clearly, get unstuck and move forward free and imaginative. So here is the first life-changing facts to heal the pain of the past is that the past isn't really about the past. When you look with great clarity, you will see that there is no actual thing called the past. Everything that happens, happens in the present. It can't be any other way. Memories of events are thoughts occurring in the present. Anger or hurt about the past is happening now. Your present moment experience in the now is what keeps the past alive. So the first life-changing facts out of the 10 to heal the pain of the past is that the past isn't really about the past and your present moment experience in the now is what keeps the past alive. What is amazing about this understanding is that it shows you that the way out of your suffering is always in the present. You can change your perspective now, focus on something different. Now, feel your feelings as they are right now. So you are able to get out from all this suffering. So you, you have to change your perspective 
and you have to focus on something different. If you want to heal from the past, put your attention on your present moment experience. That's the first day. The past isn't really about the past. Second is going towards memories are not the problem. A memory is a thought and a thought has no power or meaning whatsoever unless you give it power or meaning. That's the truth. Because in a human being's mind, there are n number of thoughts is going on. It's coming, coming every second. And the, the memory is a thought and thought has no power or meaning. That's the truth. Till, till, till the time you are not going to convert that into your mind and you are not going to think about that, that thought has no power or meaning. But when you give the power to your thought, then that's going to create a problem. You have many thoughts about things that happened long ago. And these thoughts cause no problems. But some thoughts are sticky. You have an emotional reaction to them and you think them over and over. You may even have beliefs related to them. For example, I am justified in thinking this or I need an apology so I can move on. This keeps them very much alive, affecting your ongoing experience. And that's the truth. That's the truth. Because the thought don't have any power and meaning until and unless you are not going to give the power and you are not feeding to your thought, that thought is useless. And the reason against is that most of the times your beliefs at your end says that I am justified in thinking this or I need an apology so I can move on. That's all mithya. And that's going to be affecting your ongoing experience as well. If you want to be a free of the past, lose interest in these sticky thoughts. Know that it doesn't serve you to repeat them and that thinking they are justified only delays your freedom. Be prepared to take a look at the pure experience of your feelings without the layer of thinking that solidifies them. C6 below. Sequence more to get the more details. So you have to be free from the past and you have to lose the interest in these sticky thoughts. You have to keep that aside. And you have to just do the focus towards the present and be prepared to take a look at the pure experience of your feelings without the layer of thinking. The third, healing means letting go so the thoughts and feelings don't impact you. Your goal is to neutralize the story from the past so it loses its power over you. It becomes transparent with no meaning and no effect. You change your relationship to your thoughts so they don't sit like a dark cloud over you. Your goal is not to make yourself forget about the past. That's impossible. Stuff or ignore your feelings creates other problems, addictions, anyone. Wait for an apology or acknowledgement. Postpone happiness. Wait for time to heal all wounds. You may need more than time. Now, endlessly in your emotions. Oh, so painful. Redo the past. You can't change what happened, but you absolutely can change your reactions to what happened. Keep holding as possible freedom, peace, sanity, freshness in the moment fully alive now. So to healing means letting go so the thoughts and feelings doesn't impact or don't impact to you. You change your relationship to your thoughts so they don't sit like a dark cloud over you. Your goal is and not to. The fourth the path to healing open opens up once you are fed up by how the stories about the past impact you. As I'm happy to say, 
as often as necessary. What you focus on is what will grow. If you cultivate sadness, regret, and revenge, they then they will become your reality. And that's the truth. As I'm happy to say, as often and instead of happy, that's a true fact. And I accept that to say as often as necessary, what you focus on is what will grow. So if you cultivate sadness, regret, and revenge, then they will become your reality. As an alternative, be very willing to see through these stories as much as needed. Be open to energy moving through your body rather than staying stuck. Prepare yourself to feel differently. Contemplate not defining yourself by thoughts about the past. You get a jump start on releasing the past when you take full responsibility. That's the fifth life-changing fact to heal the pain of the past. Once you see that, the ball is totally in your court. You have set the stage for deep letting go. Your happiness is your responsibility alone, not anyone else. Your happiness is your responsibility alone, not anyone else. And that's the truth. You might be very familiar with feeling like a victim, but this is a passive, unempowered position, leaving you waiting for words or actions from someone else, something you cannot control. That's the reason your happiness is your responsibility alone and not anyone else. Taking responsibility means being open to recognizing how your own internal landscape is feeling your suffering. What thoughts make you unhappy? What feelings are stuck in your body and hurt heart? How do you make yourself suffer by recycling negative memories through your mind? Being stuck in the past means that part of your heart is closed. Take responsibility for going right into those bush and tender places. You don't want to find out how. So you get a jump start on releasing the past when you take a full responsibility. And let me be honest with you, friend, that's the truth. Your happiness is your responsibility alone, not anyone else. And that's the truth. On the sixth, Telling stories keep the past lodged in your mind, heart, body, and spirit. We tell ourselves all sorts of stories that bring trouble to our lives. Want to be trouble-free? Here is the medicine. Notice how entranced you can be by the stories of trauma and victimhood that appear in your mind. Just for a moment, let yourself lose interest in these thought stories. See that what is left is a pattern of physical sensations, maybe creeping, tension, or burning. You may never have noticed these sensations before, but they have probably been there for a long time. In continuation to that, now notice this. You are aware, and these sensations are appearing in your awareness. They come, go, and change, but here you are. Take the perspective of awareness and the sensation have the freedom to be. They aren't ignored or suppressed. You aren't so busy in the story that you don't notice them. Now notice, are you suffering? No, you are simply experiencing sensations as awareness. This is a freedom. No attention to the story. Experience appearing and disappearing with ease. You unchanging, clear, undisturbed. Telling stories keep the past lost in our mind, heart, body, and spirit. So just away from all these things. Beliefs and a beliefs about healing can get in the way. Besides getting stuck in the story, you might become aware of beliefs that you hold about what needs to happen for you to let go. These are simply more thoughts that keep you distracted from the heart of the matter. I have some responsibilities. I feel justified in staying stuck because I was wrong. 
it is someone else's responsibility to make this better for me. If I let go, I am somehow approving others' bad behavior. I need an apology. Life is unfair. It was so bad that it's not possible for me to heal. Your life begins now. In this every moment, very moment and now and now. You can always start new. Don't feel these limiting thoughts and you won't need them to disappear. Proceed to discover that you were never not whole, that a part of you has always been untouched by the world. So beliefs about healing can get in the way. So you, you have to distract it. So these are simply more thoughts that keep you distracted from the heart of the matters. Relationship troubles relate to your past. Unless you see thought of all of it, you are a product of your past and the ideas you have formed about how relationships work. This keeps the past alive in the present. Do you fear rejections or commitment? Do you feel you need approval and attentions? Do you isolate or push people away? Do you need to be on top and in control? Do you have difficulty trusting? If these tendencies cause you problems in relationship, here is your opportunity. Untangle your thoughts and feelings about the past and live in freedom from them as you move forward. The middle path is the intelligent path. Dwelling on what happened and leaking your feelings all over the place will keep you suffering. Hiding, indulging or suffering or stuffing your feelings doesn't work in the long term. Instead, bring intelligence and clarity to your direct experience. Cultivate a fire for peace and ease that serves you well. That's the middle path is the intelligent path. And the last and the most important 10 life-changing facts to heal the pain of the past is Finding out who you are is the ultimate freedom. So finding out who you are is the ultimate freedom. Finding out who you are is the ultimate freedom. If you define yourself by your past, you will be living as a fraction of what is possible for you. Say so you think of yourself as a wrong or abused or victimized or you see yourself as having caught on the short end of the stick. Defining yourself by what happened doesn't help you now. It's like wearing clothes that's never fit. Is it time to take them off? It's easy to believe in a mistaken identity. It feels so true to think we are the result of what happened or the sum total of our thoughts and feelings. But the truest thing about you is that you are aware life presents a passing array of experiences, thoughts, emotions, events, people. These all arise in your but are not you. Live as the awareness of that you are fully alive. They're not in a conflict with anything. Know who you are and the pain of the past will barely be a ripple on the surface of the immensable vastness of you. So finding out who you are is the ultimate freedom. And that's the top life-changing facts to heal the pain of the past. At one more times, be free of the past and you can go on and simply enjoy your life always in love, SP. So here is what we have discussed about the 10 life-changing facts to heal the pain of the past. So thanks guys for watching this video till the end. And uh, request viewers to like the video, share this video, 
and subscribe our YouTube channel to get the more such kind of things which are going to be make you think beyond the brain since respect to every thought of your brain that's the essential. If you want to connect with us, then you can reach on our email ID, think beyond the brain at the rate gmail.com. Thank you.